Hi everybody, Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles again and I'm doing the uh, the usual walk around video, the second hand stuff that everybody seems to like. This week we've actually got a cameraman in so I don't have to try and hold the camera and the guns at the same time which is a little bit awkward for me. Uh, apologies if you thought I was being a little bit rough in the last video, I've obviously got a damaged arm from a motorcycle accident so it's not that easy but obviously this time I'll, I'm going to be obviously more careful uh, and it's going to be easier for me to show you all the stuff so let's get on with it. Uh, right, I haven't, I haven't actually checked what we've got to be honest with you, so this is as much of an adventure for me as it is for you really. Uh, right, let's start, off at, uh, let's start off at this end of the rack. Um, we've got, I tell you what, I'll, I've, I've got a secret thing as well, I need to wear my glasses. So sorry about this guys. Uh, right, so first thing we've got, uh, S510 TDR, uh, that's just recently come in, this is the new sort of tactical model. Uh, 1200 and I think they're about 1250 quid new and this is 850 pounds second hand uh, Barthol cocking lever, 2.2 calibre uh, and in lovely condition uh, we've, got, we've got a couple of nice BSAs actually at the moment and this one's an unusual one because it's a multi-shot Scorpion SC but in 2.5 calibre so if any of you guys like to do a bit of rack shooting that's going to be the business um, and that is 4.95 with a decent scope on it, which actually is a Bushnell Legend, which is really good. Sling and swivels. Uh, we've also got a. Uh, I like these. I don't know whether everybody remember the old MMC cocking uh, BSE ultras, but I thought they were absolutely spot on. Uh, this one, single shot, uh, MMC cocking, uh, fat silencer on it, and a Sport HD 329 by 40 by the looks of it. That's 320 a lot. Nice little kit that. Uh, right, I'm going to miss a couple here because one or two of them you, you have seen before. Um, we've got HW98 Custom. Now that has been tuned, but I can't remember who's been tuned by. I do apologise. Uh, 177 Custom Carbon Silencer and what looks like a Custom Stocks of Sheffield Stock. And that one is 595 the lot. Uh, oh, Blast from the Past. Logan Sweet 16. This actually, I think, is one of the very early ones. Um, and the early ones did have some problems with the seals and stuff at the time, but this one's been sorted out. It's also, I really like that feature. I don't know whether you've seen this, but it's actually got a laser hole there um, from you. So you can actually pop a laser in, so you've got a nice little, uh, nice little laser placement. Uh, that comes with a silencer. This one's all tested, and it's 325, and I think there's two magazines with that one as well. Well, I think anyway. Um, but yeah, Logan Sweet 16. Actually, it's such a shame that, that they didn't carry on with them because they were getting better and better over the years. Fantastic little gun. Uh, okay, Dyna model. Dyna, um, is that a Dyna one? No, that's an original model 50. Uh, that's in really good condition. Um, under lever, spring obviously, tap loader, 177, and that is 325. Uh, right, okay, Logan's uh, Sig Virtus. That's another little, uh, if you, I, I tell you what, if you want a little fun gun for your back garden or your kids, that literally, that gun weighs nothing. This is a Crossman 1077W. Well, walnut stock on it, 12 shot magazine uh, that fits into there, CO2 powered. And uh, the nice thing about this is it's, it really is quick to shoot because it's got quite a light trigger. I remember testing them, and you could get like all 12 shots off in about one and a half seconds. But really good fun. Uh, six foot pounds and 95 quid so that's uh, that's a little fun gun um don't seem to have a room in these racks at the moment another classic five bow sport a uh, little bit little bit untidy to be honest with you that would probably go for about three and a half uh if it was mint but you can see the barrel is uh, is pretty ropey that could probably do with a re-blue uh that uh, everything else is working on it that's 250 quid um, a Mark One Air Sporter, rough condition. Oh, actually, sorry, that's a Mark Two because it's got the uh, it's got the the, the, the scope grooves in it. Uh, and that one pop up tap. Don't know whether you saw that, guys, but the tap pops up automatically. Re really cool feature in those days. That's 150 quid, and that is in two two. Uh, right. So we will move around the rack. Uh, what have we got? We've got Crown Knights. Oh, um, we've got a nice Rapid 7 that's just come in. Uh, that's got uh, 
looks like a Virac, yeah, Virac silencer, uh, carbon shroud, and a 2.2 caliber, Dr. Bob's rail on it, and a Hawk. Looks like a 4016 by 50. And that one is going for 899 the lot. That's in really good condition, fully working order. Uh, we've got quite a few air arms rifles. We've got TX 200s, air arms S410s. We've got quite a lot of nice HW1s in at the moment. We've got quite a few new ones, uh, or new to us, I should say. Uh, they normally start off, that, that's a complete kit for 695, and it's in really good condition. Uh, 22 caliber. Thing is, with the 100s, they've gone up now to about 950. I think it is retail, so they're uh, you know they're pushing pushing nearly a thousand pounds new. So that one at 695 for a kit is uh, is a good buy. We've also got another one, um, some all lightweight cylinder on it. Uh, that's 649. We've got uh, more air arms rifles. Uh, we've got we've still got. I'm amazed we've still got that FX. Crane. That's uh, that's lovely, and I think that's in 22 calibre, and that's going for uh, 1395. But to be honest with you, I'm going to reduce that by 100 quid because I think that'll be about right. So it'll be 1295 that one. Um, Crossman R1 for the Plinkers, back garden, back garden fun brigade. Uh, these are really good, really reliable. Uh, twin CO2. Steel BB firing, semi-automatic, and it is a proper semi-automatic, so you just keep pulling the trigger. Picatinny rails everywhere. Surprisingly accurate for a, a, a nice little sort of back garden plinker. Looks pretty good as well. Uh, and that one's good for 220. And that's, it is in, well, I'd say that's mint condition, that. That's lovely. Uh, we've also got... Uh, we've got the FX Dreamline. Uh, uh, I think it's Dreamline FT, that one, silencer on it, 177, uh, and I think it's also, it might have a hamster with it, um, that one's literally just coming, that's going to be about, probably about 11-ish, I've not priced that one up yet, but that's just arrived, that's a nice, nice piece of kit. Uh, one of my favourite guns, especially, again, plinking in your back garden, Winchester Yellow Boy, made by Umarex, uh, this one is... Eight shot magazine, little magazines fit into there. Uh, this one, you can always tell the difference between the 12 gram and the 88 gram versions of these. The 12 gram one has got a much thinner butt plate. When they went to the 88 gram, there, there wasn't enough space to get the 88 gram in, so they basically made a, an extended butt plate to fit it in. So if you look at the thickness of that butt plate, you'll know instantly that's 88 gram. That one is the yellow boy, and that's 300 pounds in immaculate condition second hand. Uh, oh, we've got all sorts of bits, bits and bobs again. Like we've got a, a Milbro M16 spring rifle at 89 quid there. Um, another, that's another Webley Tracker, 22 caliber, 160 quid. Okay, let's move on to the next rack. We've got, a, we've had a few new sort of high-end stuff recently. We've got a, a really nice mint uh, desk deck Red Wolf, and that's 177. Not cheap to be honest with you, because these are, I think they're about 2,100 pounds now, that's 1550. Uh, again, immaculate condition. Uh, one of my favorite desk decks, that. Uh, more HW100s, uh, and again, um, a lovely rifle, a Huntsman Revere. Uh, that really does look like brand new. That one's just come in as well. Uh, I've not priced that yet. I just put that on the rack last night. That's going to be probably about 795. Okay, and that is 177 calibre. <laughs> a Webley Rebel, uh, based on the Sharpenova. Uh, I think maybe Webley bought a load of the actions and put a, a sort of black plastic stock on it. Pump up, 2.2 calibre, uh, 70 quid. So obviously recoilless, that'll make an, again an ideal back garden plinker because you can put one or two pumps in it. Uh, if you want to go hunting with it or do a bit of longer range shooting, you can put more pumps in it. I think it'll take about seven for 12 foot pounds. Interestingly, unlike the Sharpenova, this one has got a thread on it for a silencer, which is a massive bonus. Uh, and that's immaculate as well. We have uh, Puncher Jumbo, Kral. Uh, 177, 425, immaculate condition. And uh, B 
BSAR 10, uh, 22 calibre, 475. And on the racks we've got oh, uh, AGT Vixen, uh, 22 calibre, uh, short, which is the, the really popular one, and that's going for 1095. I think they're about 1550 or 1595 new. So there's like nearly a 500 quid saving on a new one there, and it's in it's in good condition. And we've had a couple more day states come in recently. We've got uh, a second hand Renegade. Actually, I think we're selling this for a customer. We are, and he wants £990 for it, £177. We've also got a Pulsar uh, kit with a little Connect uh, 3 to 12B32 on it. That's £177 as well, and that's £1295. Uh, Air Max Catron, 950, 22 calibre, uh, one of my favourite rifles of all time, folding stock, uh, magazine holders, adjustable, 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 safety catch right where your thumb is, uh, that pocket may be coming moved from right to left if you want to. I'm getting about 90 shots out of mine and the gun weighs like, very, very little, it's probably about four and a half, five pounds. So 950, so that's a, again a good saving on the new one. And uh, we've got obviously got a cabinet full of air pistols. I'm not going to do the air pistols today, to be honest with you, because I'm going to make this video like two hours long otherwise. And uh, the other thing, second hand, that we've got, we've got an Anschutz 9015 HP. Uh, the guy spent evidently over £4,000 on it, we're selling that for £2,850. Absolutely gorgeous piece of kit. Uh, and we've still got the Dominator, so the Dominator has been reduced now to 899. Uh, fantastic gun, uh, accurate, that's been serviced as well, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, okay, um, that's most of the second hand stuff done for today guys. I'm just going to mention as well, uh, just in case you're not on our Facebook page, we, um, we've been getting quite a lot of new products in recently, we've just had the uh, immersive optics stuff come in. You can see there's one there on the calibre gun. Uh, very very popular scope at the moment they do quite a few different ones that's a 5 mag but they go up to 14 mag uh, and they, they basically average around about 260 quid so we've got the immersive optics stuff in we've just started stocking spider cores um, again if you're a back garden plinker these are really really popular uh, we've got the, uh, the AK-74U's and we've got the AK... 101's back into stock as well, which is CO2, multi-shot, semi-automatic, uh, BB firers, 249.95 each. Okay, um, well, I'm going to keep it short and sweet for today, guys. Um, so I think that's everything I need to show you in second hand. We've obviously got a lot of scopes in as well, um, and a lot, well, a lot of second hand scopes, a lot of second hand pistols. You might notice as well that we've actually put a load of stuff on our website, so um, we haven't done it for a while because we've been really busy, but I've really been pulling my finger out and getting loads of photographs onto the website of the second hand stuff, so if you go into airgunbuyer.com uh, you'll see our range of second hand stuff. Uh, we're always buying, we do a lot of second hand to be honest with you, so if you're into that sort of thing just have a look on the website and see what you think. Um, okay guys, right, thank you very much for watching, uh, as usual, really appreciate it, um, please pop in, uh, it'd be nice to see you all, pop in to have a look at all the second hand stuff and obviously we've got lots of interesting new stuff as well, um, and hopefully I'll see you in about two weeks time, thank you very much, bye.